Hello everybody. Namaste. Welcome back. Today we're going to decoupage this old melamine plate and giving it a makeover. So we will use this old melamine plate and we are using a sponge dapper to apply two coats of primer on it. After it's completely dried, we will apply one coat of white acrylic paint over it. While the white acrylic paint is still drying, we will make our napkin ready to mount on the plate. This is the decoupage napkin that I wish to apply onto the plate. We will tear off the napkin with our hands, not using a scissor. The part of the napkin that we wish to mount onto the plate according to its size and the pattern we will rip out that pattern part from the napkin. We want the rougher edges so we are not going to be using the scissor. So this part is ready. We will place it onto the plate and see if we are satisfied. Then using our decoupage glue, we are going to mount the napkin onto the plate. But before that, we have to peel off the layers. There are at least two layers onto the napkin. We just want the uppermost transparent layer. Now taking just one part of the edge of the napkin, we will start applying the glue and fixing the napkin onto the plate. So it's better to apply very small portions of the glue and then sealing it off onto the plate so that we will minimize the amount of wrinkles that come onto the napkin. For beginners, it does become a little complicated and difficult as the napkins are extremely delicate and the glue tends to tear away the napkin. But with experience, you'll get a hang over it. So in this way, the napkin has been completely stuck onto the plate and it's dried. Now I'm using a sponge dabber, a round bristle brush, a flat bristle and a pointed brush to paint around the napkin part. So in this way, I'm taking yellow and mixing it with white, a little bit of brown and playing around the color combinations of the napkin onto the base of the plate. So in this way, we will just dab around the similar color. It's extremely easy. You don't need any great painting techniques to do this. You just get the color closest as possible to the base of that of the napkin and you dab around that. To the upper part, I'm using a little bit of white added to Persian blue and a little bit of green. So I'm using my flat bristle brush to apply the paint around the pattern. We'll also be using the other combinations that are there onto the napkin. Like there's yellow, there's green, a bit of white. And we're making the cloud part also 
in the similar way. As you see, I'm just dabbing around the brush. I'm not using any strokes, fine strokes to give that kind of an effect that we need out here. So you can just dab around with paint. It's okay to have uh, two colors onto your brush, a little bit of white and a little bit of blue and dab around, not taking any strokes. So yeah, here we're almost done and the first plate is now ready for drying. Then I will be applying two coats of varnish onto this. You may apply varnish as much as you want, two, three, four coats after uh, it's dried completely so that it becomes uh, dust proof as well as you can use a damp cloth to clean up your project. So it becomes permanent. This is our second plate that we are going to be using, this napkin. Now I've already torn the napkin and kept it ready. We will start mounting it with a decoupage glue. I have already removed the layers and the napkin is ready for mounting. Now again as you see, I am taking just one part of the napkin applying glue to the base of the plate and then I just apply the napkin onto the plate. It's better to use a fan brush and in this way in very smaller sections you just go on applying the glue and then sticking on the napkin onto the plate to minimize the number of wrinkles. Once you have applied, again you will be applying one coat of decoupage glue throughout the napkin, all over the napkin as well. So just check for all the edges, stick all the edges. And then we are going to be painting around the napkin. So in a similar way, I've taken the same kind of the paint that is there onto the napkin. Trying to blend it in. So the same kind of strokes that we had seen earlier, just dabbing, using the colors that are there onto the napkin. Same color combinations, we just expand around the napkin. After we've taken the fine uh, round brush, I'm again applying the base with a sponge dabber. Sponge dabber becomes much more easier to work with as it gives that rough kind of uh, effect to the plate. So in this way I've almost completed with the sponge dabber the upper and the lower part of the plate painted and we are almost done with both the plates. Now to uh, place these plates onto the wall, uh, we cannot use any nails so we are use, going to use any kind of uh, good adhesive bonds that you get in the market. I am using Araldite out here to fix this kind of uh, hook that you get, frame hooks and you can then put it onto your wall 
and decorated in this way. So my dining hall has been placed with these decoupage plates that we've done. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and let me know if you have any queries. Please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. God bless.